should be getting out this summer, for stealing $200,000 from his fire department and crusade for children. It's a shame that this happens, and it happens all too often. He's not our only example, but he is an example that got caught. It happens all the time. Um, I'm going to be telling you about how to avoid being a target, how to be a savvy giver, and a website designed to help you um, research companies before you donate. Um, let me start by saying, according to SurveyMonkey, uh, you guys, 54% 54, 54 of you would prefer to know something about your organization, and 36% want to know everything. So this website, uh, Charity Navigator, will give you that opportunity. It provides a wealth of information and also tips that I'll be sharing with you on how to be a good donator. Plug in the receiver, it's not plugged in. It's, hold on. Yeah, I got it. You told, uh, you put me in charge. Yeah, stop. I I'm not going to stop. First thing I'm going to be talking about, these are donor tips for you guys. I'm sure everybody has received these. Um, who, somebody was in here that got one from St. Jude, that I think was Anne, yes. Got one from St. Jude and made you give. Well, mailers, uh, the, the minimum donation that you give, say $25, it doesn't even cover the cost or the mailer, you know, for your donation. So what they do is they sell your name to other companies, and that's how they make their money. So um, this Charity Navigator has a way to, sh to show you how to get off the mailing list, and um, so that's very helpful. Then the knee-jerk giving, which is kind of my, not necessarily pet peeve, but a lot of people give because it makes them feel good. They put it in the jar not thinking anything of it, thinking people aren't going to judge them or anything like that, so they put it in the jar and people take we don't want that to happen. And then also, a good thing is hanging up the phone. So, a lot of times you'll get a call from a solicitor and they'll call you and say, hey, we have this charity, can you please donate? And it sounds good to you, and you want to give, but if you give over the phone, it's a for-profit agency that you're, that's going to make the money. So what you want to do is hang up the phone, go on the website, either the charity they were talking to or Charity Navigator, because you can give anonymously through them. And then, so that way the charity is getting your money and not the, not the for-profit organization. And then also concentrate your giving, which is just pick something that you believe in. Uh, you know, whether you believe in a not abortion, but, you know, things to prevent abortion, or you believe in helping cancer for children, or you believe in spreading the message of salvation. Um, all those things is what you're going to want to concentrate your giving in. And so now that I've told you about being a smart giver, things to avoid, let me tell you a little more information that's on the website. First, they have this uh, Charities with Perfect Scores, which is uh, exceptional charities that help them minimize uh, unethical activities within the organization. And you, it's broken down into categories, so if you're really into education or religion, you just can click through that um, website. And then you can just browse by category. Uh, they have a donation ticker here. That's just some information. I just like it that you can just click on where you want to concentrate your giving. Uh, then this is an example of the financial information they have on the website. So this is an example of American Red Cross. They've got uh, their membership dues, the fundraising events, uh, their total revenue. They just lay it all out for you right there. And they also have a CEO rating. They rate, they rate them like this is 10 highly rated charities with low paid, and they also have one that's with the high paid CEOs. So if it's important to you that your charity, the head of your charity doesn't make a million dollars, this is in a list. Okay, well, I think 
think that's a fair pay for what they're doing and the charity that they believe in. And then they also have a Hot Topics tab, uh, which for here, it's got pick charity, crown donor, so it keeps you informed and up to date on current events. And then it also, on this, I thought it was neat that American, during Hurricane Katrina, gave $6.5 billion. That's the biggest um, you know, uh, disaster relief that they've ever gotten. And Okay, so in conclusion, a donation should be from the heart, but that doesn't mean you have to have an knee-jerk reaction or send in that uh, mail. Try to remember the criteria for uh, being a savvy giver. Um, if you don't believe um, in spreading the message of God, don't give to the Salvation Army. Okay, and I would like to end with a quote for myself that I just made up. Um, don't give your money in haste. It just might go to waste. Remember to use Charity Navigator for future donations. See a note card. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Stop. Don't go anywhere. 